Morning guys, YouTube people, world everywhere. Um, so I was driving back from uh, Portland last night and I was coming up over Mount Shasta, I believe, Mount Hood, maybe Mount Shasta. Um, and I needed to start using my defrost. Oh, thanks for coming back. Welcome back guys, YouTube people, world everywhere. Might as well start off with that. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. You guys have, are all in quarantine right now. I should have like 7 million viewers or at least 1 to 2 trillion subscribers. So, anyway guys, uh, yeah. Basically, uh, I was driving through snow, all kinds of snow, all kinds of cold. It was like 18 degrees and uh, go to turn the defrost on and nothing nothing comes out so I'll just show you real quick turn this on so you can see all this is off make sure the radios, make sure the radios down anyway um, so we turn it on uh, let's just do auto and we get the fan blowing back here, but I want to turn that off, and we get nothing up here. So I do defrost, and I get nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the fuse um, before I pull this blower motor out, because the blower motor about a week ago was making some noises um, it was making like a re 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 noise um, like a squeaky noise like it was trying to seize up or maybe something's in there um, I'm assuming it's that but I want to check a fuse I just got to go look and see where the fuses are um, I had the wife Google in it while I was driving home I drove home Drove right after work, so right after work, drove, I don't know, 16 hours, kind of wore out. I just barely got home, and uh, I got to try to fix this or see what's wrong with it. So just in case I have to order parts. So let me, uh, let me Google where the fuses are or see where the fuses are. She said they were somewhere under here. You got to take this panel off. Then they were tucked up in a cubby or something, is what the thing said. For those of you guys who don't know how to open a glove box in one of these cars, it's a button. You push the button and go. So, um, maybe I'll just look in here. Yeah, let me let me look in here, figure it all out, and then uh, if I have to take the blower motor out, there's three screws on the bottom here and three screws. In here, right up under here, one, two, three, and then this whole thing comes off. Then there's a bunch of wires you got to disconnect, a bunch of connectors and stuff like that. Um, and uh, yeah, I was thinking when I picked up the car, I was like, because the car had the problem with them dropping it off the lift or off the blocks, and I was thinking, great. Um, Something's wrong, but I don't think it's that because the the rear the rear AC and uh, heat work. They blow hot and cold, so I'm um, just gonna look in here and just uh, look for stuff. I guess I should go to the back and index. I guess appendix, index, whatever it's called, and look for fuses. In the index so let me look where that's at um real quick real quick fuel 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 fuse arrangement is what they call it fuel or fuse arrangement 312 so let's go be back here somewhere 18 16 14 and 12 oh it doesn't look too bad then it's just in this 
side compartment on the driver's side. No big deal. 312, let me see what fuse is. Heater. Heated seats, telephone front heating, seat ventilation, three. Fuse number three. Um, anyway, let me look it up. Let me see if it check the fuse. Let me get over there. I don't want to open that door and work over there because it's super windy. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, could not find a fuse. Found seat fuses and other fuses, but whatever. So anyway, this one was a little different than uh, what I had seen on the YouTubes and online. They had six screws going around it. This one has two, four, six, seven screws. These silver screws are five and a half millimeter. Um, anyway, uh, they're all basically two there, one there, one there, one under here, one there, one there. Maybe uh, two here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So, I'll show you what I found out. So I took it all off. I couldn't record because uh, as you can tell it's windy, and the battery the battery died. Um. So anyway, sorry, I'm doing laundry. Um, I took it out of here. So basically, uh, this motor was frozen, was seized, and now it's not. So I took it out of this piece here. What I'll do is I'll put it together how I took it apart. Hold on, hold on, hold up. I'm gonna get a tripod for all you people that are, that uh, get nauseous very quick. Get you in here. Get you a little bit nauseous for a little bit. Um, so, basically, uh, this piece here, <coughs> you got this little tab that's inside there. Let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about. So, inside there, you have the wires that are on there. So basically you take one wire one wire off and the other wire sits right on top. Um, let's see if I can't get this wire to go in there. I'm trying to do it one handed one handed bandit. Alright well hold on. So yeah, I uh, ended up freeing the motor, so we're going to see what it does, because from what I'm understanding is that the uh, fuse, it controls the whole control, the whole climate control deal, and uh, I'm not having an issue with the whole climate control apparatus. Um, but yeah, so I don't I don't really know what's wrong with it. So hopefully that fixed it. There was a lot of crud inside of here. So anyway, when you take this out here, are the wires or this the wiring, you got these two little tabs right here. You got one right there that you'll spread open. You'll spread it that way, and you got one over here. You spread that way. So, um, like this, you can only go in one way. Obviously, where the wiring is, so just stick it down in there and push this wire harness in here. The little connector somehow. I can see. Keep in mind, guys. I just just barely got home from a 16 hour drive from Portland after working a bunch of hours and kind of kind of beat up I should be in the house sleeping but just in case I have to order a part um, 
I don't want to have to do this all last minute. So just want to make sure that that snaps down in there. Well, it's a pain to, to do, but so there it goes. It snapped. Then these little rubber thingies, you push this in. So, I don't know if you can see these, but I'm just going to hook them and fish them up, try. Could probably be using a screwdriver or something. Let me, let me wad up a towel to get some more oomph on it. So, I don't know if you can see that right there that has to come out here. So, I'll show you a try to show you another one in there. Mm, let me show you that one. As you can see that one's not set yet. So, I'm just pushing down on it and pulling it up, and just like that, it's out. Stick it out. So I'm just gonna do the other two. I'll stick this thing in there and see if that worked. Hopefully it worked. I don't know if I can get one of these by the time I need to travel back out to get back out on the road. So yeah, I did not. It did not spin that freely, so. Um, Checking the stuff. Okay, connectors in there. Feels like it's rubbing on the wire a little bit. Pull the wiring. Just a little bit. We'll pull it out. Set it in there, right? Okay. So no rubbing. So let me go. Go ahead and throw it in. I'll show you real quick what uh what oil I used and how I got it to work, basically. So basically what I did was I put oil, sorry if I'm making you guys sick, but I put oil on the bottom of this here, let's try it. bottom of this here, love those guys. And so inside there, inside, um, inside there, there's a bearing, so I put I put oil on the top and on the bottom through here. Um, on the bottom, it's hard to show you. And then on the bottom, I did the same thing. Basically, it's just a cup with a bearing. So it's just a cup like this with a bearing in the center, and I just lubed it on this side and on that side um, with some of this lube. I'll show you real quick. It's a bearing. It's just a bearing lube. For uh, um, Zoom Spout Oiler, good for cooler bearings, motors, 101 other uses. So it just has a little straw on it. I get it from Home Depot Lowe's in the swamp cooler section. And then what I ended up doing was powering it with just a little Milwaukee 12 volt battery. Stuck that in on one of the prongs and the other prong. And basically it went, and then it went, and then I spun it again. I spun it by hand, and it went slow, and then it broke free and went, spun. Then I reversed the polarity and spun it that way. So let me get it in and see if it works. I hope it works. Hopefully I don't burn up a relay or something stupid that's in the computer. Because the windows were fogging pretty bad. 
Um, so let me get it all thrown in and uh, go from there. I'll be back. I'll be back. All right, guys, got it all buttoned up. Got the wire here. I don't have all this connected yet. So I got the car turned on. Let's check out defrost, see if it works. Oh. That's working good. There you go, free money Friday, Mr. Wood. Let's see. Let's do this. Do that one. Do this one. Do this one. Oh yeah. It's working good. Free money free day. Nice. It's off. Auto, let's do it. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. All right, guys. It's gonna be it. Simple as that. Got a little stuck motor. Put a little lube on it. And call it good. But all right, guys. I'm gonna go in, try to eat something, and or I'm gonna put the glove back, glove box back on. Go in the house, eat something, and I'm gonna crash. I'm done. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. Do what you guys do. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sticking in. Thank you for watching. Sorry if you got the virus. Sorry if you got the sieves. And if you have the sieves, stay away from me. Alright guys, later.